Oh wow. What's good viewers, this is Spanky. Today I've got the movie realization Star Wars Ashiguru? Stormtrooper. Yes, that was a question. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. This is a part of a new set of Samurai Star Trooper Star Troopers. Star Star Wars. There we go. Stormtroopers Star Wars set they got coming out. Let's see, look at the back. You can see they also have a Darth Vader, and here's everything it comes with. It talks about the molding, but it's all in Japanese, so sorry guys, I don't read that. All I've got to say is, wow, this is a pretty impressive figure, which it should be because it was like 70 or 80 dollars, which is way up there on the price scale, especially for a 6 inch figure. Speaking of 6 inches, it actually almost stands at 7 inches tall. So it's a little bit larger than a six inch figure, you know, but that is its general scale. I don't know the technical terms of everything, but this is, you know, the atypical samurai helmet you'll see. I like the way this looks stitched right here. It all looks old, even though it's not. I like it a lot. This is really cool. You know, it pays homage to the old school Star Wars helmet faceplate, but at the same time, it looks old. And I like that a lot. We got a little silver trim here. Moving on a little further down, again, we see some really impressive sculpting here. The way this looks like it's actual thread, but it's not actual thread. It's just, it's all molded plastic. Again, here on the shoulder pads, it looks like thread, like it's started together, but it's not. It's just, just super impressive the way they have this layered. Here is the back of the Stormtrooper. We got some, looks like gold trim here. Saggy boobs going on here. He's got way, he's got man boobs. He's got six man boobs. Great job, buddy. But in all honesty, I like the way this looks. He's got some cool looking nipples here. Great sculpting. And uh, not to forget the under armor here, or underclothes. This looks really natural too. It looks like it has wrinkles to it. Here is the sword that is not movable. Removable, I guess would be a better word to say. But you can definitely tell it's a little sword, little katana. Looking at the forearm plates here. Again, just really nice. I don't know how else to say it. Just everything looks really, really, really well done. I'm going to say it again. It looks like real thread, but it's not. I just, especially right here, it's all molded plastic. It looks, it just looks amazing. No other word for it. Incredible, incredible detail. Let me go up a little bit. Look right here. looks like he has like a scroll right here. Nothing's movable on it. He's got a little pouch right here. You can see the pink belt in there. This is where he holds on to his sword. You just slip it in there like that. And while we're looking at the sword, we can see right here. It looks really nice. Looks stitched. Again, just taking a quick peek under the armor. It looks like actual clothing they got here. You can see some of the baggage right there. Like it's kind of been tucked into his boot or his armor. That's just really impressive. I like that little honeycomb look right there. This is just this is just insane. I haven't seen this amount of detail in a six inch figure. I don't I can't I can't think of any other figure that's this detailed. This is just really cool. Quick peek at the stormtrooper's gun here. Has a really classic but also new look to it. It looks like the stormtrooper's gun from the movie, but at the same time it looks like a gun you'd see from the age of samurais. And this actually moves up and down. The articulation on this figure is just as good as the detail. Starting off with the head and moving down, it looks like he's got a double ball joint here, one on the bottom and there's one up farther, so he can look both ways. And then he can look down, not as far as he can look back. And I think it's really cool how they made the design so that he can look up a little bit further and this will kind of crunch down like that. I wouldn't force it too much, I'm afraid it might break, but that's just a really cool feature right there, if you see what I'm talking about. That's really neat. This is actually on a hinge. She can move forward and backwards. Shoulder articulation. He can go up and down like this. That's a really cool hinge they got there, giving you a lot of articulation with that. It's really cool that they added that. And go back and forth too. Uh, he goes up that far, goes all the way around. We got the 360. The shoulder pads don't at all really affect the shoulder articulation. It's really cool. They're actually on a ball joint here. You can easily remove them. It's really soft, moldy plastic. Elbow articulation, he's got double joints here. Again, just great articulation. 
that's pretty crazy right there. Wrist articulation, and it'll spin around. That's the only part it lacks in really is the ab crunch, not much there. It bends a little bit here at the waist. Like I said before, this is hinged, but none of these are hinged. This is all just plastic. It's very malleable though. It moves pretty easily. Oh wow. You can go up about that far, but he's in a suit of armor, so that's to be expected. His legs can't go back as far as they can forward, which is a little bit disappointing. This plastic right here is, isn't, it's a little bit tougher plastic than what we're getting everywhere else. The knees have excellent articulation. He's got double jointed knees just like his elbows. A little bit of a calf swivel right here. I'd say it's more of a lower knee swivel, not actual calf swivel. His ankles can go pivot up and down and they can go around. There's also some articulation right here in the side. This will swing back and forth, get it out of the way. I like that a lot. You can actually most likely remove it if you just pull it out there, but I'm not going to do that. So unlike the sword, he doesn't have anything to hold on to his gun on his waist or anything. So the only way he's going to be able to hold on to it is in his hand. So to change the hands, you just pull them out and you stick it back in on this ball joint like that. Pretty basic stuff, you've seen it. If you have a uh, any other figure, pretty much, that can exchange hands, same basic story. And this is kind of his, his aiming hand. You have it like that, so you can aim it as such. Can't really get it into the pose right this second. Here's the next set of hands. Again, we get another blaster hand, except this is on the other side. And this hand will hold his sword. And the directions don't say anything about removing the bottom. A lot of the import figures, you have to remove the bottom before you stick it in. But this looks one, it looks like for this one, you just shove it in. The so last set is going to be another sword holding hand. And I just popped it off again. And then we get another blaster holding hand. And I'm not sure if it was a mistake, but this side actually came with two blaster holding hands. And looking at the directions, it looks like I was, looks like I was right. I got two of these hands on this side and I was supposed to get one of those. So you should have got one of each for one each side. That's kind of uh, disappointing. Again with the $70 figure they shouldn't be making mistakes like that. Overall this is a pretty amazing figure. Other than the fact that it came with the wrong set of hands, it's pretty much perfect. I love it. The price tag's a little high, that's a bit of a con but it really makes up for it with the quality and everything that it comes with even the box art and the box I felt like it's quality and that just you know little things like that will make me happy so I will recommend it be weary that it is expensive so you might be getting yourself into you know a very expensive line I'm not sure you know if the line's gonna go up in price or anything like that it may it may not for this stormtrooper other movie realization figures in the future Check out the description below. Click the link. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.